Hello! Welcome to the new section titled Start Deploying TensorFlow Models. In this lecture we will cover TensorFlow framework. Let's make a small introduction to neural networks and deep learning. First we can start with describing how different approaches for the building algorithms on top of data are different. First of all, there are deterministic algorithms. They are very transparent and predictable, but it may be hard to build a custom algorithm for complex tasks which will work in all cases. Next, there is machine learning technique, where we train the model based on features we get from data. We don't need a lot of data to train model in a reliable way, but we need to make a separate process for training, validation and testing. Finally, there is deep learning approach, where we train neural networks. The main advantage is that we can use raw data without predefined features. The downside is that we need a lot of data and a lot of computing resources for training. Let's look more closer to the last two approaches. These approaches are very different from classic approaches. For classic approach we use rules and data as an input and answers as an output. For machine learning approach we use data and answers as input and we produce rules as an output. Let's look into why machine learning approach and especially neural networks became so popular in recent years. First of all, computing resources became a lot cheaper now in comparison with how it was before. With introduction of public cloud, it became extremely easy and affordable to use these resources at scale. Secondly, machine learning approach requires a lot of data, and right now there are a lot of public and private data which can be used for training. Finally, advanced algorithms allow to make and train more complex neural networks. Now let's move to why we actually don't need to train neural networks to successfully use them. Although training neural networks may require big processing power and a lot of data, deploying it can be done using simple CPU. In that way we can say that deploying deep learning model is close to using external library in your code. Secondly, there is a large community of people and companies who open source their pre-trained neural networks, meaning you can freely use them. There are two main cases where using pre-trained neural networks can be extremely convenient. First case is when your task was already solved. For example, if you want to conduct image captioning or text classification, then you can use already existing neural networks. Second case is when your task is fairly different from what has been done, but is close. Then you can use pre-trained models to generate features which you can later use with deterministic or simple machine learning models. TensorFlow currently is the most popular framework for deep learning. It has a very large community of people and a lot of people share the models they have trained. Most companies which are using neural networks in their production environment are using TensorFlow Framework. Thank you for listening. This concludes the end of this video.